The second question I'd like to answer is how did District 58 decide on the length of time for remote learning? It's a really great question. One of the first things we did was we surveyed our parents and teachers and we asked them how did they feel the time allotted during the Act of God days met their students' needs. What we found was the majority of our parents told us that it was just about right. The next largest group of parents told us that it was either a little too much or not enough. Rarely did we find that any of our parents were telling us that it was just way too much or not enough. So we knew we were close with the set of hours that we chose the first time. We also looked at the guidance from the Illinois State Board of Education regarding remote learning. What we chose to do was align to the maximum. We felt like if we aligned to the maximum at most grade levels, what that would allow is for parents that were looking for more um, to be able to work with their children to the maximum amount of time set by the State Board of Education. However, we also wanted to be flexible with our plan and say to parents who may not be able to meet the maximum with their children that that's okay. This plan is designed to be flexible and we want to make sure that parents do only the amount that they can handle at home with their children and that students don't put too much on themselves to cause stress and anxiety. The whole idea behind this plan is maximum flexibility for parents. I hope that answers your question in terms of why we decided the amounts of times that we did. Know that we will continue to survey parents and, and teachers throughout this process, and we look forward to adjusting our plan uh, in the event we need to. Thanks again.